One of the most frequent questions I get asked uh, in the comments, email, or clients that sign up for my coaching is, can I retire? Okay, the most basic question uh, that's really on your mind if you're going through uh, YouTube videos, streaming them, binge watching them. Most are seeking confirmation. They're looking for something they left out. They're looking for an error they made in their calculations. They're seeking confidence, confidence subject of two videos ago. Everyone is different. I've met with, you know, pushing 160 families, couples, uh, and coaching them through their retirement, not just the financials, but the, the uh, life transition. But most of the time, you know, let's say 75% of the time we're talking about financials. So, hey, this can I retire question, today I wanna turn that around. Um, let's ask a different question. What are the traits and practices, behaviors, of those people that cannot retire, people that should not be retiring, okay? Now, I'm not talking about how much they've saved and in, invested, if they have rental homes. Let's, let's forget all that, the, the net worth stuff. What are four things that, um, you know, that if I see any one of them, I'm concerned about their retirement being successful? Do any of these apply to you? Number one, having credit card balances. This not, does not mean don't spend on credit cards. I prefer to spend on credit cards because my money's protected. If it, identity is stolen, it's not my money being spent. It's visas or MasterCards or Discovers. Uh, but if you have a credit card buy, balance, I've had clients uh, with as much as four credit cards that had a balance on it. And that just shows me a behavior of, I want it now, I want things, I want stuff. And going into retirement, unless you got $10 million, that behavior needs to be in the rear view mirror. That needs to be something that has been worked out. Um, so credit card balance. Uh, I don't see this a lot. I would say 5% of the people have a standing credit card balance and they just put it in as one of their line items that they're uh, spending money on. We spend, you know, we'll pay $500 towards our credit cards no matter what the balance is. That's a uh, bad behavior for retirement. Number two, car and truck loan balances. Again, same concept is, hey, wait a second, you know, you're mid 50s, early 60s, and you're still still carrying balances on a car loan or a truck loan, that's a big red flag to me. Are you not keeping cars long enough? You buying expensive cars? Yeah, there's always exceptions. People say, well, I only got a 0% balance on this, um, or 0% percentage rate, sorry. Zero percentage rate, and I've got that money invested. Yeah, they may have it over here, but it's at least a red flag for me. Uh, typically, people that are going into retirement try to have zero debt. Number three is a mortgage. This is a sensitive one, okay? There are people out there, I would say 30 to 30% 30 of the people I talk to have a mortgage. But most of them, it's on purpose. They may have a mortgage and they're paying 2.3% interest on it and they got $1.5 million. They can easily write a check for it, but they say that payment is really low and now I'm getting this much in a, in a CD now or in a T-bill or in the stock market over time. I understand that, okay? And that if you're spending your money on purpose that way and making money on that arbitrage between those two uh, returns and what you're paying out in interest versus what you can get in return, I, I can get there but it's odd, okay? It is odd, you can do it, and there's, it makes good smart business sense, logical sense, but in retirement, people tend to have no debt, no mortgage, no car payment, no truck payment, and by the worst, the number one red flag to me is if you have a credit card balance. So if you're, you're, you have a credit card balance month over month, retiring, um, 
I'm, I'm very concerned about your behaviors going into retirement. When you stop working, uh, very concerned about that. The fourth thing that I see common for people that are not ready for retirement is not having a budget, okay? Really, they come to me and say, this is kind of what I've been spending the last five years. Kind of, sort of, somewhere in the 7,000 a month, 4,000 a month, whatever the number is, doesn't matter what the number is. They don't know how how it's, how it's, they're not driving it. It's just, it's, they're reacting to their budget instead of spending a budget. So you have to, when you look in, at retirement, you know, there's some spending that goes away. Uh, goes, you know, you're not putting in savings anymore. Okay, for example. But there's some savings that increases. Uh, a lot of people, I would say at least 50% of the people, probably 75, let's use 75. 75% of the people, haven't thought through that they're gonna have extra time in retirement, and that, that means extra time to spend money. So what are you gonna do in your go-go years? So there's, there's some extra money that may need to come in there. So find out what's going to go away, like your kids are gone, you're cutting the cable, uh, you're not paying their insurance, their phone bills anymore, so, uh, so the taxes, all those things come down a little bit, but there's some couple things that go up, and you, you need to, do the math. You need to take out a piece of paper and do a budget. So those are my four common traits that I see of people that are not ready to retirement. For retirement, sorry. Not saying these will knock you out, not trying to offend you, but the people that aren't ready have one, at, at least one of these, okay? And it can't just be one, um, but one of these four things. Uh, so this is, like I said, this is a, excluding investments. Uh, these are the four things. So uh, did I miss something that concerns you? Did I offend you with these four things? Uh, uh, let me know in the comments. This is Joe out.